Hello everyone, this is Blender Gapi. In this video, I'll be discussing the Boolean submenu and its operators in Creative Flow. Its main purpose is to deal with modifier-based Boolean operation. First, we have the Remove Boolean Object Operator. This removes the selected Boolean object from a target or user mesh. In the Redo panel, if it has multiple users, you can select which user to remove it from, or use the Invert icon to remove it from the others instead. And we have the clear all toggle to remove it from all users. We have the switch boolean operation. This allows you to switch the boolean operation of the selected boolean object. You can switch between the four different boolean operation or change the solver. You can also invert the operation to affect the other user objects instead of the one in the text box. Then we have the switch all toggle that switches the boolean operation for all users of the boolean object. Next is the Apply Boolean Modifiers. This applies all the Boolean modifiers in the selected object. You don't have to select only the target or user meshes, but also you can select the Boolean objects and the operator will still work fine. If the user or target mesh is using a mirror modifier, this will also be applied in order for the Boolean modifiers to be applied correctly. You can just use the Auto Mirror Operator afterwards to re-establish the mirror modifier on the object. The Select Boolean Objects operator lets you select all the Boolean objects being used on the active object. Simply select an object and use the operator to highlight or select all of its Boolean objects. The Clear Non-Overlapping operator helps remove the Boolean objects that doesn't overlap the active object. This is particularly helpful in cleaning the modifier stacks of slice objects from a Boolean operation because they inherit all the modifiers of the active object. This operator can also work on multiple objects selected. The Hide Show operator lets you hide or show Boolean objects. You can either select the user mesh or its Boolean objects to use the operator. Clicking the operator normally will activate hide, but pressing Ctrl plus clicking the operator will show the Boolean objects instead. Finally, we have the Wire Bounce operator. This lets you change the display type of the Boolean object from wire to bounce and back. It has the same control theme as the show hide operator. Clicking the button normally will set it to wire and control clicking on the button will set it to bounce. The wire display type is helpful when selecting a particular Boolean object when dealing with a lot using bounce. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to use the comment section or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.